a YouTube channel because everyone keeps asking me in my comment section to make a YouTube channel. I have no idea what I'm going to post, but today we're just going to go over the car and um, just explain everything on the Civic because I always get asked on live, like, what's been done to the car, doing mods list, whatever. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go over the Civic. Um, I have some parts on the way, so I'll make a video about um, when all that stuff comes in. So, yeah, today we're just going to go over the Civic and... Do like a mods list, pretty much. All right, so let's start off with the engine bay. First thing I did was put the turbo kit on, of course. I, I bought the car and just slapped the turbo kit on it. Um, it's just an eBay turbo kit. Uh, I think it's the Immersa, something there, is the turbo kit I used. Um, it's a T3, T4 hybrid uh, ball bearing turbo, and I've got a 5 PSI spring in it, because I'm not trying to like blow my motor right now. Um, but yeah, that was the first thing I did, and then I had to change the whole wiring harness because I had to run a Honda ECU, which I'll show you later, um, to a CRV wiring harness. So I had to change the distributor as well to fit the new wiring harness. Um, I did that. I don't know what that's off. I think it's a D16 VTEC motor, um, distributor. Also, this wiring harness is off a of VTEC as well. That's why there's, like, some VTEC plugs that aren't plugged in. But that's fine. Um, and then I also resprayed the engine bay. Uh, there was a lot of rust on the the, sport, the radiator support, and a bunch of like random holes everywhere that I didn't need. So I patched them all up, and also the like the AC because I took my AC out as well to have the wastegate come down. Because if you have a Civic, you'll know that the um, wastegate hits the condenser, the AC condenser. So yeah, took that out. No AC. I don't really need AC, there's windows for a reason, and it, like, I never even used the AC, so it didn't matter. Um, but yeah, that's the engine bay. All done. I did have to modify um, a lot of the piping, because it is like, it's not like a fully universal kit, it's for like a bunch of Honda motors, like the B-series engines and all that. But I did have to cut um, some of the piping for the turbo, because it was too long and it was like on the floor, and it's still too low, but... I've got to figure out something for that. I have like um, like the little support things at the bottom, but it's not enough. So I might have to cut um, the piping again and make it shorter so it comes up a bit more. In the engine bay, I have a dump pipe off my turbo. So I want to get a skunk chew exhaust. That's just for now. That's what came in the kit. It actually came with a full exhaust. It's back there. I had to cut it because it didn't go past the firewall. It like hit down there somewhere i don't know so i just cut it for now <laughs> um but i will i'm like saving up for a new exhaust so yeah i'm gonna get the skunk 2 mega power rr i think it was so yeah i'm gonna have to like get that welded and fabbed to fit that flange and stuff so yeah so i also blocked up the blow off valve because the piping comes with like the fitting for the blow off valve so i just put like a sprite like a little piece of metal from a sprite can in it so i could block it off um, but yeah, that's the, the engine bay. Okay, so now that we're done with the engine bay, um, I will go and do like all the suspension and the wheels and stuff, so. So on like the whole car, I've got BC Racing coilovers. Um, I don't remember like the exact name, so I'll just put it down at the bottom. Um, I've got slotted and dimple rotors. They're just a bit rusty because obviously the car's been sitting on jack stands for a while. Um, <laughs> I body deadened the like wheel arch um because there was a lot of like surface rust coming up onto here because it was like the factory one was like peeling off and it started to rust so to prevent that i just did the whole thing um and yeah i'm not sure if i'm gonna do underneath the car yet um i gotta chuck it up on a hoist or something so i can get a better look um these are the wheels they're just like they're they're rep bbs's um they're 195 50 r15 so they're 15 inch rims um and then the same on the back but i do want to i need to get new tires so but where is it one of these is like like you can see it's very bold <laughs> um it's because i didn't get a wheel alignment when i got them and as you can see there's wire so i do need new tires i might go bigger like wider tires in the rear i don't know we'll see when that like when I start driving my car. All right, well, let's quickly go over the body. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's in primer. Um, also, the roof's not done yet because 
you can see all this residue it was left over from the wrap because i did wrap the car when i first got it um yeah all that sticky shit that's on the roof is left over from the wrap so i still need to fix the roof um quarters the doors the bonnet i'm getting a new one because it's just it's beyond repair like it's fucked um <laughs> this side's done the guards are done but i do need to re-block um the guards because they're not that great like i could have done better they're not straight so i'm gonna block them again i'm gonna re-high fill the whole car and like i'm gonna block it and re-high fill it again to make sure everything like all the body lines are straight because over here it's a bit like how's it going um but yeah i have the color that i'm gonna respray it i'll show you guys So the colour I'm painting the car is like a light grey with purple pearl through it and it looks really cool. It looks hot. And I'm so excited to paint it. As you can see, like the calipers are like purple. We've got like little purple things everywhere. The interior also has like a bit of purple in it. But um, yeah, I didn't want to paint the whole car purple because I think that was a bit too much. So it's like a light grey with purple pearl through it. And then when it's like in the dark, it's like goldish. But yeah, I can't wait to paint the car. I'm literally like, I'm more excited for that than to drive it, to be honest. Um, <laughs> But yeah. So the whole car is still in primer. Um, I'm gonna re-block the whole car and re-high fill it, just because like I, it look kids look better. Like the body lines aren't perfect, so I want to make them perfect. Um, and I also am not 100% what I'm gonna do with the guards because I do want to have vents on them. But so I get vented guards like three grand in Australia because they have to ship them from America. So I might do a YouTube video on how I'm gonna do it myself. Uh, but yeah, we might see that later on in the channel. Okay, excuse the mess in here, but yeah, this is the interior. Um, I did the fabric on this A pillar and on the door cards. I I think I got them off eBay. I can't remember, but it's got like little dragons on, them. little gold dragons, all that stuff, and like a little bit of purple running through it. These are the seat covers. They're just white drift performance drift for a front wheel drive car. I know, but they're the only white seat covers I could find, and they're already so dirty. So I need to wash those. Of course, the laptop is there. <laughs> um, that's my boost gauge. I don't have it. Like, I've got the vacuum line done, but I haven't got the wiring all set up yet. I've got this, um, like, little cluster, like, gauge housing thing. Um, I'm going to put an oil temperature and an oil pressure, I think. Those are the two other gauges I have besides the boost gauge. Um, so those are going to get put in there. I like it because it's nice. Like, it's, like, neat, so it looks cute. Um, yeah, I don't have, like, a rev gauge, so I might have to get, like, a tack or something. But, yeah um i've got an Empman shifter with a k-tune short shifter on it that little sparko thing is just off my old car i had an 86 and it was on there and that's like the only thing i have left of that car so i keep it there um i've got like a little honda hot wheel there um what else what else do we have in here okay let's go over the ecu so the ecu is in here <laughs> and um i've got the Honda s300 v3 i think V3 or V2? But and right now I'm just running a base map just to like start it and stuff. I will start it in the end of the studio. Um but yeah, I've got like my little wires for my laptop and all that in there. It's really cool like how I set it up because like the little plug to like plug it into your laptop's just there, so and then when I don't want to use it I can just put it back up. Okay, so let's go to the boot. So I have two 12 inch subs in the back um i think the amp is sound stream yes sound stream amp and uh so uh throughout the whole car i think there's like pie in here like little speakers on the sides and shit i didn't do all those but i put that in there so i don't know what's in the door cards and stuff but um yeah that's about it for the interior Okay, now for like the stuff that's not on the car right now, um, I have a spoiler, it's a squeak, I think a squeaker V2 or V3, I can't remember, um, it's like a three piece wing, and you can like adjust it and shit, um, I do have CS side skirts, and a CS front lip for my bar, which is over here, with, also on the back, I did a V wiper delete, um, we rolled it with a 10 cent coin, if I can find the video, I'll, I'll put it in here, but um, we just like shoved a 10 cent coin in there and rolled it up. And yeah, that's my re-wiper delete. That's not it. 
and I also have like two bars, but one I'm going to keep because I've got everyone's names that have gifted me on live and stuff, so all my supporters are on that bar, so I want to keep that one. That's why I got the other black one, just to put on the car. Alright guys, so we're in the Civic now, I'm going to sell it up, so let's quickly do that. And it's not in